All right, <clears throat> so we're going to talk about removing your through bolts in a couple different ways. Now, normally the way you remove your through bolts is you take a standard nut driver, and you don't want to use your socket. Now, before I get into the nut driver, you don't want to use a socket. Sometimes a socket and a socket handle, it's too strong and you might snap them. You want to use a nut driver. That way you can just really get the feel and see how much tension is on that nut. All right, so I have already tried to loosen these. And see what happens here? They turn a little bit, but they feel like they don't turn. So you get that little spring tension. And what's happening is the bolts are actually... The bolts are actually frozen inside of that end bell there. Well, I mean, I don't mean frozen uh, like an ice frozen. I mean frozen is corroded, corroded and stuck. So you say to yourself, oh, my God, what am I going to do now? Now, normally under this situation, you would be like, oh, my God, i got to get a new pump, stuff like that. But it's actually not that bad to repair. And I'm going to show you exactly how. Now, a lot of guys might just, you know, snap them off and break them. It's like, oh, I'll just drill them out later. But what happens if they break too close? That's the question you ask yourself, right? Because sometimes, yeah, you'll get lucky and you'll, you'll snap them off here. And then the through bolts will, like, break here in the middle or something like that. You know what I mean? And then you can heat them up, like, as you've seen me do in other videos. But the problem is, if they don't snap off, you know, with a little stub sticking out, and they snap off and uh, they're flush with the end bell, then you're going to have to grind them, and then you're going to have to drill them out. And, that, and it's really time-consuming. It is a really pain in the butt. So I'm going to show you a trick how to easily remove your through bolts uh, from the back, and then you can still have to heat them up, but it'll be just a little bit easier to work them out than working with the small stubs. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to check all four of our through bolts and we f see that all four are frozen okay or stuck as i said so what we're going to need now is we're going to need a center punch okay and a hammer and what we're going to do is we're going to mark okay what we're going to do now is we're going to mark right in the center of each one of these through bolts we're going to use a mark just like this that way when we go to use the drill in a second the drill won't walk and now what i mean by walk is the drill bit won't move back and forth across, which can be dangerous and is not going to also give you a precision hole. All right, so there we're going to go. What we're going to do now is we're going to move the camera forward and we're going to give you a closer look at drilling out the through bolts and also marking the through bolts and show you exactly what we mean.